Okay guys, so today is Tuesday. I'm on my way to the property. I'm a little late. It's already 12 o'clock. And the traffic here is a standstill because of the train. Uh, but I'm more prepared today. I have a table. I bought a 22 LR rifle, the Savage. And then 22 LR pistol, GSG Firefly. And then I bought I bought the I brought the what do you call this Torch Judge 410. Mm, and I will be using my new chess uh, holster I got from eBay. And I'm bringing my Glock 22 with me while I'm in the property. So traffic's moving now. See you there. This is the property, the border. And there's a deer. And there's a deer waiting for me. Wow. Alright okay guys, so we're here at the property. First order of business is to remove this for sale sign. Okay. So I asked permission from the owner. He, he said this is mine. Technically this is mine. So it's up to me if uh, I want this removed or just keep it so I said just I'm gonna keep it for the meantime and paint over it Okay guys, so I'm done. So less than three cans of this 99 cent spray cans, white spray cans from Wally World. So this is a blank canvas. My youngest uh, son uh, will be happy. This is gonna be a black canvas for him. I'm gonna ask him to help us decorate the sign. So there you go, next uh, task to go inside and uh, uh, put the corn and do some shooting. I got out of the mud uh, last time we went here we were able to pass through the entrance with no problem it's just that yesterday I think it rained here look at the water so the guy said uh, I should probably m go more on this side okay after the guy helped me at the entrance okay same story I'm stuck
I saw some foam boards, foam boards on the side of the the trail. I was extra, extra careful to get them because there might be snakes. I know there are snakes here, so hopefully this works. Foam boards didn't work. I'm here at the campsite. It's just a few uh, yards away. Uh, looking for something that can help me get out of that uh, area. I hit the jackpot. Board. Found some boards inside the old shack, old uh, hunting shed. Board, board, board. Uh, let's see, let's see. Right, so shit just got real. I'm running out of ideas. There's still a lot of water, and I'm not getting any traction with the uh, with the tools that I have and the resources that I have. So there are two options. I just, it's either I wait for a rescue from my wife, which is uh, two hours away and she's at work. So she's going to come home late or should I sleep here? Anyway, I have my energy bar and I have plenty of drinks so I can survive. So let's see, let's see. Okay, the cabinet doors are not working. So I think I need to get rid of the water. So for that, I'm going to block off this section, that section, just to drain the water. Okay, time is 6.45. It's getting dark. Uh, this is my last idea. Floor mats. I have, I have rubber floor mats, so let's see if I can get some traction. Okay guys, looks like dito ako matutulog ngayon. Hopefully, I survived the night. Uh, walang uh, camping equipment. Kotse hindi makalis. Stuck. Nakita ko na kung bakit hindi ako makalis. Nilagay pa ng board. Pumatong yung kotse. So, kailangan kong kayo rin. Eh, masyado na madilim to, to work on the, the tire. Or the car. So, kailangan ko ng ilaw pa umaga na okay guys so looks like I'm gonna spend the night here uh, I just found out why the car is stuck the board that I put uh, the car is resting on the board that I put underneath and it's too dark to work on the car might as well spend the night here. All right. Without without the lights, you see how dark it is. my fire
Okay guys, so time check, it's 8.42 My far is, I think it's out Because I put it in the middle of the trail so So to avoid any forest fires It's wet on that area And what else, uh, it's hard to stay here alone Because you have a lot of uh, things to think about uh, First is, I'm not familiar with the area Second, I don't know what uh, animal is gonna charge to me behind on uh, behind me if I continue to work on the vehicle. So I found out why I am stuck. The board that I found, I put it. Uh, the car ran. Uh, okay, the car uh, moved a little bit, and then uh, the board got wedged underneath so the two tires there are two rear tires are are not uh getting any traction because of the board i should have not used that board okay and also um my friend told me that the the footprints that i uh that i saw on my last vi visit here they're not raccoons they're mountain lions so there are hogs here, there are mountain lions, and I don't know what predators because I'm not familiar to the area. And just on the other side of the street is the natural preserve. So I'm gonna spend the night here. Hopefully I can work on the tires tomorrow morning. See you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, time check. It's 9.45. Uh, my wife is gonna rescue me. Okay, so I'm outside. Look how dark the highway is. Okay, this is the highway. That is the natural uh, preserve. So there's a lot of animals there. I hope I don't alarm anybody who's gonna pass by. But... Uh, my wife is about to be here in 20 minutes and plus minus and his phone service doesn't have any signal in this area so uh i don't know i i just i just have to wait and this is going to be our marker so i said i'm illuminating it with my olanzi uh video light so that's going to be the marker and I'm here waiting alright guys so it's 10 o'clock 15 minutes to go I'm facing the the property or the wooded area behind me is the highway and the natural preserve I'm really concerned about the mountain lion because I don't know if I can hear them coming because they're basically they're big cats 15 minutes this is my light my marker and I'm the only one here Thank God my wife is here. Hey, my wife is here. Time to pick up my guns. I'm not gonna leave my guns here. Always bring it. Okay, so we're on our way home. It's 11 o'clock. We're gonna we're, we'll arrive at the house at around 12:15. So one hour, 15 minutes to go. Uh, thank God my wife uh, came and uh, rescued me. <laughs> Usually she doesn't drive this this far and at night. 
and she's already sleeping. She worked uh, today, and uh, I think start. Uh, she started her work around 5 a.m. 4:30 to 5 a.m. So uh, I could have uh, stayed there, but what uh, what am I gonna do tomorrow? Because I don't have the the tools to free my car. Okay, so I need to go back tomorrow. And also, lesson learned regarding uh, my stuff. Every time I go out of the city or into the property or somewhere like uh, forest area, I need to bring my camping bag. Uh, good thing I have my lighter, even though I don't smoke. I have one flashlight. That's it. Uh, but a headlamp is really. Uh, I could use a headlamp while I was working on the tire. So, lesson learned. Uh, need to upgrade my preps, but it's a good thing. Uh, from time to time, you get tested by situations like this. So, hopefully, um, oh, I, hopefully, it's gonna be smoother next time. But thank God nothing happened to me. Uh, everything worked out okay. It's just that uh, we left the car, but it's safe because uh, it's a private property. Nobody goes there. If ever somebody goes there, uh, they they intend they really intend to do something bad. So what can you do? Okay. So hopefully nothing happens to the car. And see you next time.